We're moving to the west today, up by the pier. We're gonna hunt west of the pier, where the new sand has been. But we're not gonna hunt in the sand, of course. But that's where we're headed, that direction. It's going to be in the high 80s, low 90s to claim today. Stand by, we're inbound. Me and Mr. Denny. I changed hats today. Maybe that'll give me some luck. Got rid of that other hat I had. Went back to my uh, FedEx freight hat. Gotta try something different. You stay away from my chimney now, you turkey, you. I'm not going to mess with you. Stay right there. I'm just checking you out. Crab pot boat picking up his crab pots. Making a move someplace, it looks like. Hey, what's your names? Brenda and Melinda. Brenda and Melinda. Yes. We're twins. I can tell. Two minutes older and an inch taller. It's <laughs> <laughs> okay. Making a move. Here's Danny's cell phone. Verizon. Motorola. 4G. Purple. We're making a move to Turtle Beach. There's something at Turtle Beach we wanted to investigate. I can't go no further with you on that, but I'll let you know what the outcome is in a few minutes. Look at them rocks over there. Yeah. I don't think I've seen it like that. A lot that. of sinkers in those rocks. My buddy Jim, you see it with them rocks, with that little cutters right there by the rocks? He come up here in 2012 and sucked a great big 14K right out there. Rocks? Yeah, no, down in that little slope. How you doing? You're doing a good job of it. Well, this is the first low sound. Well, I see it already right there on the end of the scoop. You see it? You know, it's turkey. So much for that fine ticket. You can see there's some rocks around, little ones. They should become more plentiful as we head west. Got a sinker. Then he's got a cell phone. Stand by. Killer low sound, I mean. Woo. It's like that last pull tap. Bottle top this time. Looks like a big old barge or something right there. Stand by. Could it be part of a cannonball fuse? I found my one and only cannonball fuse right on this beach right here. Not far from where we are now. We come up on a gray matter graveyard here. This is not gray matter, but I got plenty. I got plenty of gray matter since I've been here. It's a baby gray matter, that's why I was low. I thought it was something else. Gray matter, oh my God. I may not be able to get home. Ring in the scoop, ring in the scoop. Stand by. I don't know 
what it is or was. Got a year, right? 1943. I'm pretty sure it's gold. Just tarnish it up bad. Yeah, baby, look at that. Stand by. Yeah, a little sand cleaned it up good. Yellow. I like it. Been a while since I've seen any yellow from 1943. <laughs> I like it. Another nice low sound. Looks like a damn aluminum to me. Imagine. Load sounds everywhere around here. I think I already see it. Look at that sucker there. <laughs> Mermaid visited. Mermaid. A baby flapjack. He's getting a suntan. Hope he got his 45 block on today. He ain't he's in trouble. A brooch of some kind. With ice and stuff all around the edges of it. Gonna get it cleaned up some. I just washed it off. We'll take it inside now. But I ain't put it, I ain't bringing this in the house. This is a block of lead. I've been mean, a big sheet of lead that I found. I'm gonna leave that outside, let it dry off. Ring's a perfect fit. Gotta clean it up. Okay, we got four, 10 on the left, 14 on the right. Acid test, stand by. Besides the gold ring today, this might be the coolest find other than the ring, Rajah. Apparently it's a great big fat nine or seven millimeter spark plug probably for a model t model a model t i think they don't have to be i just read that someplace but it's pretty cool oh spark plug Well, it dissolved the 18 in the middle, it's dissolving some of the 10, but it's holding on the 14. So that means your guess is as good as mine. All right, here's a roundup. My arm's tired. That kind of day. Very matter. Two pounds. Maybe not quite two pounds, I mean. A lot of pull taps. One quarter, three nickels. I lost one nickel somewhere. This is a planer, well, a fishing planer. Boat cleat, you saw that. This is a window latch, I think, off a boat. Brass window latch. Uh, this is my pendant. I started cleaning this, going all to pieces. You can see it's got like a pin right there to hold it on with. And what else we got? The old bottle. I don't know if it's old or not. I don't know much about bottles. But it's cool. Been there a while. Not broke. It's all faded up. All, a lot of texture on it. Class ring cleaned up okay. I don't know if that's a RMO or AMO. It had a thing on it, but of course that's gone. Nineteen forty-three. That's a year older than me. What? Well, it'll be the same age as me in the, in the way, three weeks. I'm getting older in three weeks. Let's go back to the acid. See if it's any change. I'm thinking. Uh, 
I don't know. 10.6 grams, just a light, heavy little ticket. Okay, stand by. I got a, I got a 11 o'clock something to do, and then I got a two o'clock doctor, doctor appointment with my skin doctor for my yearly skin checkup. So, uh, spinning is uh, doubtful, but I might make it. We'll see how that goes. Dr. Denny, he had uh, almost five. <laughs> Almost five pounds of gray matter. He stayed now one spot. We found a field of gray matter. That's where the ring came out of, the gray field matter. He, I moved on and he didn't. Wait a minute. I forgot, I forgot the most important thing. I'm glad I came back. Where is it? Here it is. My damn spark plug. How can I forget that, baby? Damn. Get over there with that gold ring, baby. That's right. You sit right there. See you later.